was an art ed student and there was a class called Introduction to Crafts and as part of it we had a little section on textiles and I just loved the materials and that started sort of a lifelong interest in that. I had taken a lot of summer classes and my parents wouldn't pay the tuition unless I was full time. So I took a textile class, mainly a weaving class, and it happened to coincide with the opening of wall hangings at the Museum of Modern Art and that really gave me an idea of how this media, this material could be used in creating art objects or expressive objects using textiles. I kept working in the materials and was making lots of small things and in doing that I accumulated a lot of work. It was 1969, things were a little chaotic. I was teaching in public school and friends of mine who were disillusioned um, decided to band together and open a shop in Provincetown, Massachusetts. And during a hurricane one day, Leora Stewart, who was then the head of the department at Tyler, fell in the door and was interested in what I was doing and encouraged me to enroll, to apply to graduate school at Tyler. And my second, Leora left at the end of my first year and my second year, Adela Akers came to take over the department. and. It was a wonderful experience working with her because I was finding my way and she was very encouraging and open to letting me do whatever I wanted to do. Education is sort of ongoing and what we're working at in schools is really something that will be more of value in the future and very hard to appraise in the moment that it's actually happening. I don't even really think of this as a career, it's just something that I do and have always been interested in doing since I was about 22 years old. What excites me about the future is actually change. I don't know what is going to happen. I know that at some point I'm going to be moving. I would like to spend a lot more time in the Southwest um, and some more time by the ocean, probably on Cape Cod. I am also thinking it would be interesting to change everything, um, do more volunteer work. I'm interested in hospice. I just really don't project out that far other than I think it would be exciting to keep change going on. My inspiration has always been nature and it's ever changing and I every day there's something new that inspires me. I spend a great deal of time walking around. I love being in the southwest when it's very beautiful, when it's very dry. I like watching for how the climate is changing things around me, how the seasons are changing. I use a lot of natural materials and they tend to bear witness to um, the passage of time, which I, to me is actually very important. I love working with linear things and that's a peculiarity to me. I like building things line by line and constructing things knot by knot. Again, going back to the idea that that somehow is measuring every moment of my life. From the very first moment I picked up a yarn, I just loved the feel of that in my hands. And I love the dialogue. Every material in textiles has a different response to a structure, a different response to me as a maker. One of the most important things that ever happened to me was actually going to Anderson Ranch to teach one summer, I believe it was 91 or 92, and I had a student there whose name was Barbara Seidel, who owned a property that had a studio on it that she allowed me to live in for many years afterwards. The first summer I stayed in that studio, I ran off to meet friends um, traveling around the Four Corners area and I wound up at the Grand Canyon and when I came back Barbara said to me, well did you like the Grand Canyon? And I said, oh god, it was like looking at a photograph. And she turned to me and said, you know it all takes time, really a lot of time. And in that moment I started taking the same hike every day through a meadow and through the woods and really beginning to take really pe actually pay attention to what had changed from day to day in that landscape. 
because in the Southwest, everything is so open compared to how it is in the Northeast where I live. And you really need that time to place yourself in that landscape. And being able to do that, I think, has allowed me to place at times the viewers in the landscape that I'm creating.